Hello everybody, this is Sega Channel Retro, coming to you live from Sonic Retro and Sega Bits. Uh, we are currently doing a live stream special of the Sonic Hacking Contest 2014. Uh, again, this is uh, Bartman3010 on the stream. Uh, trying to see if I can get some other people from the Hacking Contest to, uh, uh, you know, jump in the conversation here, but... People are kind of busy or tired and want to go to sleep for being British. But you know what? We're going to go ahead and press on. What we're going to be doing is checking out some... Uh, mostly we're going to be looking at the PC mods, because I know a lot of people have a lot of difficulty getting this stuff to work. Uh, but with uh, some duct tape, we're going to try and see if we can get this stuff to uh, stuff going here. Starting off with Windmill Isle. Uh, so this is the uh, DLC project from the Unleash team. Uh, who did the initial Sonic Generations conversion uh, from Unleashed Generations, uh, which was pretty impressive, but we never got any any of the downloadable content uh, from the game. But that's what this mod is going to change. And let's see if we can change some audio on here and turn it up a little bit. So it's a little bit quiet. This is the initial DLC stage for Windmill Isle, recreated in the uh, Generations engine. I think I activated the uh, one of the Unleashed renderers, but I don't think I have it working correctly. Because it makes genera uh, Generations do some weird stuff. Uh, one other thing I've mentioned in the chat that we may have some slight technical difficulties going on, because uh, I'm running this on my Windows 8 laptop and capturing the footage. And for some reason, Windows 8 likes to disconnect my game controller for absolutely no reason. Also, I'm not the greatest at this stage. Oh. Yeah, this isn't the only uh, DLC stage that's been converted to Generations, uh, but they've been done by other people. Ah, I hate that thing. Haha! -ha. There. I probably won't be talking a whole lot trying to get these uh, platforming challenges out of the way. It's also neat to see them take some creative liberties since uh, there's still some obstacles that are in uh, Unleashed that are not converted over to Generations. Whoa! Almost. <laughs> Let's try that again. Whew. I bought some of the downloadable content for uh, Unleashed back in the day, but I didn't really care for it that much because a lot of it is just this weird hard mode stuff where, you know, the game asks for some real precision platforming. And. I don't have a whole lot of fun playing uh, these kind of games with that kind of, uh, you know, having to do some perilous platforming action. Although this part here is not too bad. Uh, the frame rate boost is uh, definitely welcome. I think I shouldn't have any trouble for the rest of the level. Oh, except for this part. Yeah. Okay. Whew. Made it. So if I recall, a lot of the generation... Uh, I'm sorry, the Unleashed DLC likes to uh, have these lap-based uh, challenges. Where basically the, le the level layout will change, or at least these objects will change based on where you are. Like, we'll just hit, like, certain triggers, it'll trigger different laps, or it will just activate different objects. So, for, like, this Windmill Isle stage, it ma basically makes us go through the level backwards, and then we have to go through it forwards. And now there's just more enemies, more boosters, more, more of everything that we have to deal with. Uh, because my setup is a little hard for me to see the chat, but I will try and take a look through it periodically. Hopefully the sound's okay here. Oh, 
think my laptop's trying to give up my my controller now. Yep, it just did. Okay, so now I gotta try with the keyboard. Uh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, now, for some reason, my jump button is the X button. <laughs> I wonder where the boost button is. It's the Y button. And I can't sidestep, unfortunately, so uh, this sucks. <sighs> but we're near the end anyway, so it's all good. Yeah! Let's see how bad I did. Let's see. Alright. Not too bad. <laughs> but uh, that's the only stage that's in this demo. Uh, everything else is kind of blocked off, unfortunately. But uh, as you can plainly see, it's got... It's still, like, the same overall from the uh, Unleashed Project DLC. And it also rates each stage based on uh, computer performance. And I think it shows this uh, logo for the level here only because of the save file that I'm using. I'm not using uh, a redirected save file so I can keep my skills. Alright. Well, that's that for this mod. Let's see if we can move on to another one here.